A wind farm off the coast of Yingling is set to become the biggest in Asia-Pacific region when it's complete in 2021. But ecologists are concerned that the impact of the farm on migratory birds is still unknown. They say birds could have their flight paths disturbed or might even be killed by the turbines. The farm's developer, a German renewable energy firm, has now commissioned a study to try to determine the impact of the project on birds. Through artificial intelligence and infrared imaging, experts hope they can ascertain how the birds react to the farm. A flock of blackbirds stretches and twists over the sea. It's a mesmerizing sight to behold. Migratory birds fly in and out of Taiwan with the seasons, but some wonder whether the paths could be disturbed by Taiwan's wind farms. The German developer of Yunlin's offshore wind farm has commissioned a survey from Taiwanese analyst Weather Risk Explore and the Japan Weather Association. In the past, besides working on weather monitoring and forecasting, we also used our technology to monitor the paths of migratory birds. For example, we used AI to do image recognition and made assessments with infrared thermal imaging taken at night. Located in the sea of Yunlin, the 94 billion NT wind farm project is expected to be up and running in 2021. But environmentalists worry the farm could disturb bird migrations or even injure the birds themselves. Taiwan has never really had any exhaustive data on bird migration. It's all just broad descriptions. But now we can grasp it all in real time. We can even tell clearly whether a bird has crashed into a wind turbine. Basically, this is the first ecological project conducted on the largest wind farm in the Asia-Pacific region. We hope it will be successful. Many Taiwanese experts in artificial intelligence, ornithology and meteorology will all come together to contribute. The developer has set aside a budget of 70 million NT for the survey over three years. They hope the renewable energy project will have as little impact on the environment as possible.